Hey, it's Jelana and I'm coming to you with a very, very quick wig review. This one is on the Model Model Invisible L Part wig and this is in the style Jordan. She is in the color 701 and sorry, OF701. And I have her already applied um, because I just, I recorded the video already. I just unbagged her yesterday. And then the lighting didn't look right to me. So I wanted to redo it. So, and I also forgot to turn around so you guys could see the back. So that's the reason why I'm re-recording it. I will tell you the specs on it. The wig is a medium to large size wig cap. Um, because I have a very large head and it seems to fit me pretty well. Um, the uh, texture of this hair is a yakky texture. Um, if you do a lot of brushing and combing to it, I feel like it will frizz out a lot. So what I have done yesterday and what I do have done today is just to finger comb it. The length is about 20 inches or so. It just comes right to about the top of um, your breasts. If, um, what else can I tell you about it? It's got two combs on either side, um, on either side of the parting, and then there is a comb in the back. It really is constructed to be a side part, but I really wanted a middle part, and the reason I like a middle part is because then when I'm looking down, and I come back up, I don't have to worry about trying to move hair out of my face. So when it's side part and there's this long bang, it tends to get in my face. I really like a middle part. Um, I did put a little bit of powder in the part and I think that that's just fine. I, I don't really do a whole lot of plucking the part. I've plucked over plucked times before I put holes in, in um, parts. So I just kind of leave them be and just put a little bit of powder. Um, I need to go in and gel my edges a bit, but this is the overall look of the unit. I will give you a side view of her. And there's the back of it. I really love this color, the 701. Here's the other side. Here's the back of it. No real shedding, no tangling. It's a full cap wig. Um, it's got a great density to it. I feel like it's nice and full. It's not too thin. I don't think it's too thick. Um, I really am enjoying this unit. So if you are considering it, you like the style, you like a yakky texture. Uh, if you wanted something that's got some really beautiful brown tones to it, this is a great unit. It does um, look great as a side part. I believe the side part is, it's, it's, the part is on this side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the part is on this side. But anyhow, I love this unit and I look forward to wearing it. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. Probably last like any other synthetic wig. I will probably trim it up a little bit as the bottom, as the ends get, um, start to uh, mat up at all. It's a synthetic wig, they'll do that. And so what I do is I just start trimming it up and trimming it up until there's nothing more to trim. And then it goes in the trash. Cause this unit was, I think it was $19.95. It wasn't very expensive. Got it on divatress.com. I'll leave a link to divatress maybe in the description box. Otherwise, you can just search for it. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this with my own money, and um, I think it was a good investment. Until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, stay on budget. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do wig reviews every so often, and I have a couple of wig giveaways coming up as well. So definitely behoove you to um, subscribe and get notifications of my videos so you know when those sorts of things are happening. Talk to you later. Bye.